So when you say practice the moves, mm -hmm. what does that actually mean? What does that look like? Well, so the, 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 that's a really good question. And we, we've spent, you know, the first, boy, Don't say. 25 <laughs> years of our research, we mostly focused on the existence and the effect of DSRP and knowing them and being aware of them. In the, in the last, uh, I would say probably 12 years or, you know, eight years, we've really been focused on that question. Yeah. How do you practice it? What do you pray? What specifically do you practice and how do you practice? And so I would say there's a lot more to learn about how to practice and in, in terms of the research on practice, but we know some things. We know that we know what to practice, practice the yes. moves. And we have some pretty um, pretty good understanding of the beginnings of how to practice. So you can imagine this almost like, I think of it like we're at the dawn of, of, of a thing I call mental fitness today. And, um, and you can imagine, I don't know, I don't know the history of, of physical fitness enough to, to cite chapter and verse on it, but you can imagine there was a time where all humans were physically active, right? Before we were life. in their daily yes. life, they were physically active. They were doing things. They were lifting things. They were farming. They were, you know, mm -hmm. you know, walking, doing all kinds of things. Right. And then somebody said, maybe because we're, we were moving in away from some of those types of things. Somebody said, what if, what if we like practiced physical fitness, right? Yeah. What if, and you can imagine that's like a big leap, right? What, what if instead of just being, instead of just moving in your daily life, doing things, uh, lifting things, all that, what if we isolated those movements and practice them? Yes, and I would imagine that that came from as we had all these advances in technologies and cars and all these things that actually mm -hmm. removed the day-to-day -day physical, they said, oh, actually, our health is suffering. We have to invent something called physical fitness. Yeah, perhaps. Right? Or we're missing we're yeah. missing that in our life or something, right? Because yeah. I imagine if you're, if you're working in the fields all day long on a farm, mm -hmm. You're probably not thinking after dinner I'm going to get a workout in. You know, like you're you you got a workout in working on the farm all day, right? And and so if if you're in an agrarian kind of thing, you're not going to go be doing push-ups or you know sit-ups or whatever. What's remarkable about that is when that cusp happens, we see incredible performance gains across all kinds of different areas, right? So I remember, for example, in rock climbing when when you trained for rock climbing you went rock climbing right you just went rock climbing now that involved hiking to the site or driving to the trailhead hiking to the site getting to the site hoping that it wasn't raining you know doing your rock climbing getting back to the car driving home right yeah that's a lot of extra stuff to be able to rock climb right well today you go to the gym, you go up and down and up and down and up and down, you get you get more practice in. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And so what do we see? We see the the far end the far end of performance of rock climbing is is increasing pretty steadily and pretty remarkably, right? Right. The same thing for any sport, basketball, football, whatever. We're we're isolating activities and training in those activities and we're getting more reps in those isolated training activities and then we're figuring out how to get those isolated activities to be more synthetic right. in practice and things like that and so we're seeing just a you know a, an explosion of talent we see because this in mma too practice, right like yeah. the kids the kids are practicing when they're little so because we know how to practice so you know rather than saying hey kid go get in a bunch of fights it's like hey kid you can <laughs> practice as a little kid jujitsu and, and yeah. Muay Thai and, you know, boxing and all these kinds of things. And now we have these superstars that are 20 years old or 18 years old, and they're just remarkable, right? Yeah. Yeah. So all I'm saying is this, I think we're at the cutting edge. I think we're at the, at the almost a, 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 the beginning of that moment when we say, yeah, we're thinking all the time 
out in the ambient world, we're thinking all the time. Everybody thinks all day long. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But what if we isolated some of that process and yeah. understood some specific moves that we can do that will strengthen our thinking across the board in remarkable ways? And I think that's where we're at today. We're at the cusp of that revolution.